As you may know, OneNote is replacing the Wiki app in Microsoft Teams. Users have until January 2024 to complete the transition, but many users have expressed that they like the Wiki platform and looking for an alternative app. Well, the perfect Wiki has received top ratings from the Microsoft Store and G2.com. This application is a certified app that seamlessly integrates into Microsoft team and has better functionality than the Microsoft version. Let's explore why the perfect wiki is the perfect wiki replacement. Make sure you stay until the end. I will tell you how you can get a discount using my code. Let's get started. So I've navigated to the Perfect Wiki tab I've already downloaded. I wanna showcase some of the features to you first before we get into how to download and import from existing pages. So what you see here, it integrates right into Microsoft Teams. As you can see, I have my team site here. I have all my channels. I'm actually on the welcome and introduction channel. Over here is the perfect wiki platform. Now I can hide this navigation panel if you want. I want to talk about some of the features here. I'm actually at the site level. It displays all my wiki pages here. I can actually click on them. Some of my um, wiki pages has images, so that's good. You get all the editing functionalities. Um, that you're used to, so no worries there. When you look at your text, if you make sure you choose the heading one and two, because you have the ability to have a table of contents. In the headings, based on your heading choices, you get instantly get a table of contents. That's really nice. Also notice here that you can see, you know, who's viewing it. You got comments here and also version history. In this panel, you can easily share a document. You can review all the um, edits and the version history. We just looked at um, looking at the table of contents. You have the ability to add comments or review existing comments. And here's another upgrade. You have the ability to print your wiki page. Notice that I have the ability to add a page which creates a sub page, which is what you see here. You also have the ability to duplicate a page. That's an upgrade as well as you have the ability to copy a page and move them another upgrade from the existing, from the Microsoft Wiki, right? So when you look at a Wiki page that has subpages, look what you see on the page. So not only gives you any content that you may hear, it also gives you a list of what subpages um, within that hierarchy. It lets you know how many views, so you get metrics. You don't have to get a separate report to see how many People are looking at this content. It provides the last modified date by who. And you also have some additional settings here as well. You can move these around if you like. Just grab them and move them around. Let's talk about what you see. I want to go back to the team site homepage. Again, here is a list of all your wiki pages. Um, for that channel. Let's talk about what you see in the far right pane. You can import, which we'll talk about later. You have the abilities to actually import templates into your channel. So you have seven categories to choose from. And if you choose, look at a list, what Perfect Wiki offers is, you know, an introduction, an image, and now you can come in here and change this information any way you like. You have easy access to change um, your permissions. So one thing that I really was excited to hear about this um, application is 
it inherits the permissions from the team site or from the channel. You don't have to worry about manually importing or adding all of those permissions in here. And you do have a couple options, anyone from the internet with the link or anyone with um, the link from your organization. You have three levels of access. So whoever is the site owner gives the administrative rights and they have access to do everything, right? You can assign, edit, comment, or view permissions. Perfect Wiki has three tiers and one of the tiers is the enterprise package. You will have the ability to um, back up any of your content. Now, while I'm talking about the enterprise plan, um, you also get the ability to brand your site. So instead of seeing the perfect wiki icon, you can upload your logo here as well. Let's talk about some of the settings. Under the accounts, you will see your account information here. Under channels, this is just, again, giving you a summary of all the sites and channels that are involved. You can change your settings here as well that we just um, reviewed. Branding, we talked about. This is where you would actually upload your logo. And you can review your users here as well. Now, billing will only be available to the site owners. Quick find the search functionality. Already you see an improvement, right? So you can easily look for content throughout, you know, your through all channels, or you can pick and choose which channel you want to review. So automatically, this is an upgrade from the original Microsoft Wiki. Let's talk about adding pages. This is what got me excited. So you have three options. You can import from a file, even from a PDF. So you can import a PDF file into your Wiki page. You can um, create from a template, which we did not have before. So since we've already looked at the templates, let's look at adding a page with AI. Let's create guidelines for an effective meeting. Okay, there it is. I have the ability to review it in HTML if I want to before I go ahead and say, let's accept it. Now I can go in and start editing this page as I see fit. So really great. Are you excited yet? I like what I see so far. Let's go talk about the services and the plans. Perfect Wiki has um, three pricing tiers, what they call free forever, as well as a company and enterprise plan. These are very reasonable um, costs. Um, you can choose to pay monthly or annually. If you decide to buy, they're very transparent in their pricing. You know exactly what you're getting. And remember, when you go ahead and confirm it, if you enter in my promo code, that you would get a discount and the details are in the description. So make sure you check that out. I was also impressed with their live demo page. You can come here and add a page and use some of their functionalities to make sure you're comfortable with the product before you purchase it. Now, this is the first. I have not seen this with any other company. If you agree with me, Add that in the comments below. So on their document page, all their supporting details is here. You actually have, you know, um, written form as well as video form. Make sure you check out what's new. They're very transparent in, you know, what's going on with their product. Any product announcements or new features would be listed here or, you know, any blog posts that they have posted. Okay, so I am back into Microsoft Team. I want to show you how easy it is to add Perfect Wiki to your Microsoft Teams site.
So I'm in the support group channel. I'm going to click on the add button. I already have it here, but if it's not there for you, type in wiki. Choose the icon. And there it is. Now, Perfect Wiki has a couple limitations with the private channel pages. They are not visible in the main menu or the web version. If you are okay with these conditions, go ahead and create it, or you can consider creating a private team site instead. Let me show you how to import existing Wiki pages into the Perfect Wiki. So under the navigation pane, you want to choose import pages. You want to download any of the information. So click here. It's going to open up to your SharePoint site. You want to go to site content, teams, wiki data, and we're going to choose support group. And if you want to look in there just to make sure, Yes, I have two. And now if you had images or tables involved, you would actually see all the files that's listed here. But the easiest thing to do is just click on that folder and hit download. Notice that you get a um, zip file. So we get our zip file. Let's go back to Teams. And we're going to drag that file right into this area and hit import just that fast. Those um, pages are added to Perfect Wiki. What do you think? The Perfect Wiki is the Perfect Wiki replacement? So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to look in the description for the discount and the promo code. Now, go work your magic.